Today I'm going to be the one YouTuber talking about Robin Hood who doesn't want you to sign up. Use the promo code SCAM during checkout. Turns out maybe an investment app based off of a mythical robber isn't a great idea. Today my goal is to explain exactly what the heck just transpired between Robin Hood and GameStop this week. And yes, it does get scandalous, don't you worry. Robinhood's handling of this pipeline from clicking buy to owning a stock has triggered an SEC fine for $65 million, an antitrust lawsuit, and a separate ongoing SEC investigation. So first, let's explain how the industry actually should be working. Now, The best way to think about Robinhood is they're the middleman between you and the traders. Nah, what you want. I'll get you a good price. I know a guy. So let's say you want to buy a share of GameStop. You call up Robinhood and say, hey man, you got the hookup on those GameStop stocks? Robinhood replies, sure do, click the buy button and I will hook you up. So you place the order, and then Robinhood calls up a brokerage and says, hey, I got this guy Steven Diamond's Hand Mackie on the line trying to buy some GameStop. You can hook that up, right? The brokerage, of course, says sure, buys the stock on the open market, and then sells it to Robinhood for the agreed upon price. And then Robinhood turns around to me and says, hey, congrats, that guy I know, well, he got you your stock at the price we agreed to. Boom, here you go, transaction successful. Of course, the problem here is that everyone and every step is scraping a little bit off the top of that price. The SEC found that despite the fact that Robinhood advertises that they're commission free, customers in reality received inferior trade prices that in aggregate deprived customers of $34 million. Robinhood is commission free in the same way you don't have to pay a car salesman to hear his pitch. They're the middleman between you and the market. So you might be thinking to yourselves, Wait, in that case, why don't I just call a brokerage directly and buy stocks without Robinhood? Good question, and simple answer. They're not going to answer the phone. They profit based off of office space rules. Every time there's a bank transaction where interest is computed, and there are thousands a day, the computer ends up with these fractions of a cent, which it usually rounds off. But what this does is it takes those little remainders and puts it into account. We're talking fractions of pennies being scooped off the trades. At best, your 10 shares of GameStop are going to net them a profit of about 2 and 4 tenths of a cent. These retail trading websites allow brokerages to do a couple billion small exchanges so they can all come together in the end and end up splitting a cool $34 million amongst themselves. So now that I've explained the pipeline, let's get to the juicy details. What happens when your middleman decides, you know what, I'm not going to ask my hookup to buy you those shares. He can't go behind my back because he doesn't wake up for less than 10,000 transactions. Well, this is exactly what happened on January 28th when many different brokerages abruptly and unilaterally restricted retail investors' ability to buy GameStop stock. In some cases, they removed the option to buy shares of the relevant securities while still continuing to openly permit them to sell their existing shares. So you might be thinking to yourselves when I say that, so nobody could buy those stocks, right? Because the ability to buy them was removed from retail trading websites. Well, remember how brokers don't wake up for less than 10,000 transactions? They certainly did wake up for some people who can make more than 10,000 transactions happen overnight. Large institutions were able to buy thousands of stocks while everyone else could just sell them because they transact in large enough volumes that they can tell Robin Hood to take their green tights back to Nottingham. We're going to deal directly with the source. again. I want to emphasize that the legal problem here is not that Robin Hood could restrict people's ability to buy certain stocks. It's their business. They can do what they want. Ethics aren't great on that, but I'll leave that to the comments section to talk about. 
The specific legal allegation here is that there was an overarching conspiracy among all of the retail trading firms to stop retail investors from buying stocks in open and fair public securities markets. Turns out it's probably incredibly illegal under antitrust laws for all of the retail investing firms to come together and ban normal people investing in a certain company. Classic Robin Hood stealing from the middle class to split it with the rich. So that's exactly why retail trading firms are currently in hot water over this ongoing GameStop stock fiasco. Until next time, thank you and that's all I have to say about that. Hello YouTube! First, if you're one of those people who just made a few million dollars in stocks this week, now feels like a good time to mention that I have a Patreon. If you want to support independent, nonpartisan news looking into the overlooked, join this growing list of exceptional individuals by clicking on that link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and lastly, as always, thank you for watching.